You think I came down here for no reason? You came, you came here for a reason. You came here to kick my ass. You came here to kick a coach's ass. Let's go. You think I didn't come down here? You think I drove all this way because I didn't fucking look you up? Well? Or, do, or do research on you? I'm not fucking I hope you did do research on you. I don't want to kick him out of that. Yo, why you came down here, dog? I want to be trained. I want to be trained. Yeah, I'm fucked. Why are you saying all that stuff on the internet? How you going to kick my ass and all of that? Come on now, man. KO'd, but you know, I suppose it's free. If they'd have punched him down again, it would have been a KO, in it? Because three, three knockdowns is normally a KO. Welcome, people. It's your boy Perfection back again with another video. Okay. Um. Right. So we are at week seven. Week seven, guys. Week seven. I think it's three, three more weeks left, and that's it. I'm in there, and I'm fighting. And I gotta be honest with you guys. Um, I did the last video, and if you remember, I was being humble. I was talking about how some tall guy, some tall, six foot four, because that's the height he looked. About six three, six three, six four guy, was just kind of, um, basically, what do you call it, sniping me off with his jabs. Um, I couldn't get close to him. I um, tried. I mean, we were actually. We it was trial and error, so I was like practicing doing my weaves and my rolls and all that kind of stuff, trying to get close. Um, sorry, one moment. That pull probably will happen a few times, guys. Just ignore it. Um, I was weaving and ducking and things like that. Remember, all I've done is shadow boxing. That's all I've done. So now it's about trying to implement that and see how do using my motor skills to say right, how do I, how does me ducking and weaving to thin air actually work in a raw fight scenario? Okay. I want all of the kind of wanna be tough guys out there, hard men, to listen to what I'm saying as well. Listen carefully to what I'm saying. How does it work in a real world scenario? So yeah, I was getting picked off. He was he's literally punched me in my face. One time I went in there real hard, um, and he went bam and hit me with a right hook, and I was stunned. I was for a minute I was my my head shook and I was stunned, and I thought, damn, that would have been over. Had that been come fight night now, someone hits me and they spark me and I'm groggy, and I'm all like, don't know where I'm at and this and that. Um, and I think he punched me and moved to the side, it would have been over for me. Because if I'm fighting someone and that happens to them, I'm going to run in to finish them off. Okay? Now, that was week... That was week four, I think. Prior, right, week four. And then week five came, and I was running around the park, and I, I basically partially torn my, my calf muscle. Yeah, partially torn it, right? So I had to take two weeks off from running. Now, what have what have I said to you guys? What am I trying to preach to you? Especially to anyone that's even. I think this is before I get back into what's happened recently, right? This is the whole point of this video is that um, I'm not trying to promote this, guys. I'm not trying to promote fighting. I'm not trying to promote it. Um, I've been watching boxing videos all day, all day long. Okay. And 
it seems to me like a lot of people out there um <clears throat> just want to see people get in a ring and have a have a you know fisty cup with each other um i'm not promoting that that's not what i'm trying to promote um, i don't want people to come to my channel and say yeah look i'll have me some of that and this and that i don't want it um if truth be told i just want this fight if this fight could come tomorrow i'll take the fight tomorrow um it's gotten hard now the real world is kicked in now this is why i played that previous video you know we're not in kansas no more total i'm i'm clicking my my feet together trying to get back to kansas city and i'm still in the what is it um the still in the wizard of oz basically i'm still there still clicking my heels together and i'm still in you know the emerald city of 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 the wizard of oz and i want out basically um, and it's crazy because it goes back to one of my videos that I done called No Pain No Gain. Um, monkey, monkey see, monkey do. No pain, no gain. This is this, I'm I'm now living my own reality kind of thing, you know. Um, it's not a joke, guys. This is some serious thing. I I wouldn't want my brother. I wouldn't want any even my nephew um, to take part in these things. Let me be honest with you. I, um, I've never really been a fan of. Um, I like watching boxing, but I've always watched it to learn how to defend myself, okay? As a personal trainer, I also try to teach people the basics of defending themselves. This is the whole purpose of why I joined up to this thing. Yes, I did do it for charity. Yes, I do wish to raise, raise uh, a, you know, a, a certain amount of money for charity. But really, it's to know how to defend myself. And if I know a little bit of how to defend myself, then I can pass that on to my clients, okay? What I can tell you is that there's no way at the end of a 10 week session if you've survived 10 weeks in that camp or eight weeks you definitely know how to defend yourself i can promise you that okay that's one thing i can promise you anyone win or lose that has made it through made it to week eight or week 10 is a champion okay don't ignore what anyone says if i lose on week 10 or whatever i'm not going to feel bad whatsoever because it's grueling. If anything, the training is a lot worse than the actual fight itself. And that's what I'm about to get into. Right. Sparded the six foot four guy. Picked me off of his punches. Then the following now remember I did sprain my um ankle tendon, so I couldn't do as much running. So my cardio levels, because really running is the best form of cardio. That's the best way you can do it. Slightly went down. I've gone back there now and the training is getting harder and harder each week. You're doing more exercises, harder exercises, faster, quicker, longer, and all of that kind of stuff, right? So normally, me and this six-foot guy, on week three, me and him are sparring with a third person. So I would spar with him. I spar with the third person. Then I take one minute out. Then I jump back in. Then I spar with the person I jump back in, I spar with an extra person, then I come back out. So it's in groups of threes, right? the triads, right? Week, was it, which, which, which week was it now? Was week one, I think week one, sorry, sorry. Week three, I had the six foot guy, six foot four guy by myself. Week four, it was a triad, three of us, yeah? And there was um, the new guy that was introduced into the triad basically wasn't that good of a fighter. And as I'm fighting, me with my soft self is feeling sorry for the guy. So I'm not going in and I'm not aggressively trying to beat the guy up. If anything, I felt sorry for him. I thought, oh my God, this guy is going to get it on the last day because there's some killers in, the, in there. This is what I'm trying to say to you. Please listen, people, especially those that fit in their tough and all of that kind of stuff. Listen, okay? Week four... It's me, the six foot four guy, and another guy now, okay? The other guy seems to be the, the weak link. And me and the six foot four guy are just practicing things on him. Oh, let me, let me, I'm thinking, let me try this, let me try that. Anything that I tried works. Literally anything, right? So if anything that I try works, if I wanted to put a power punch, if I want to fake something and then do an aggressive power punch, I could. There's nothing he can do about it. Also, he started to get tired. After about two rounds, he was <gasps> tired, right? So, but me and the six foot four guy are going easy on him. Cut a long story short, week five now, running around the park, um, maybe once, months in the week, but I'm not getting, I'm not doing major laps, maybe one lap air. 
doing a little bit of box size in my room. Um, week six now, I go there. Um, I think that was yeah two weeks ago. Week six now, we get to week six. Cut a long story short, I'm put in there. Um, in the beginning, we're doing some sparring drills with someone that's literally about 15 years younger than me. Cool. Sparring with him. Lightly punching him in his face. Then all of a sudden, he goes boom in my face. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is that he, when he punches me in the face, he's not supposed to. Because the teacher tells us, you're only supposed to jab with this hand here. So I'm looking at for his jab. He throws a one, boom, hits me in my face, full pelt. So I'm like, okay. So the teacher comes over and says to him, listen, you're only supposed to use your jab hand, right? My turn now. I'm jabbing him hard in the face. And then it's slowly building up to us kind of, or should I say him, kind of going all out, right? And yeah, I said, no, right, fair enough, let's match it. He's, he's probably... 10 kg below my weight. Um, he wants to go for gold on me. I'm like, yeah, let's have it. Let's give it a go. So, I spar with the guy for say three, four, five rounds. Right. End of the fifth round. Now I'm thinking I'm getting a bit tired. I'm getting a bit fatigued. Right. Um, I'm thinking that maybe one of the coaches there is going to jump in and is going to say, right, okay, now back to the bags, this or that, because the weeks prior to that we haven't sparred for that long. So I'm, I'm assuming that one stage is going to come to an end, right? It doesn't. Ding, ding, round six. Round six finishes. Now I'm on the ropes and I'm gassed out. Okay? I'm an old man, guys. I'm 43 years old, okay? I'm 43 years old, okay? I'm gassed out. I'm also 90... Um, I came into this thing 97 kilograms, okay? I'm gassed out. Ring um, number six, round six comes. Ding, ding. The kid can see I'm tired. Think the kid shows me any mercy? Boom, boom, boom in my head, boom in my head, boom in my head, boom in my head. Um, I'm tired, I'm, I'm walking up to the kid, I'm bum, bum, giving a few combos. Um, with, each, with each minute, my, my punches are getting slightly a bit weaker. Round seven comes, I, think that, I thought a coach was gonna pull us to the side and say, all right, Luke, you're a bit tired, mate. Take a break, yeah? Go and get yourself some water. No, the coaches stand back. They want it to continue. Kid comes in there again. Boom. Boom. I'm taking punches to my head. I'm taking punches to my head. Cut a long story short. For about... For about 20 minutes, I must have took punches, non-stop punches to the top of my temple. And that's when... Um, and I left there. And I said to myself, Damn, I can't believe this happened, man. And I can't believe the coaches actually allowed it to happen. Um, but you know it's all good it's all good I said to myself right check my leg and uh, the next day I did a session with my um, my friends because every week I, I uh, exercise with my friends at my home and then I made it my uh, determination my goal to, to now try my hardest to get back into shape and I spent the whole week basically running around the park trying to get back to it Four days later, I'm running around the park. Bang, my calf muscle goes again. Okay. Now I'm in a situation. I'm sitting down in my room and I'm thinking, damn, I can't do any more running around the park now. And in three days' time, I'm going back into that gym. And now we're sparring for 20 something minutes. I'm scared now. Do you understand? I'm scared. And I'm saying to myself, damn, do I tell, do I come up with some excuse to get out of this? Do I come out with some sort of excuse, right, to get out of this? Do I tell Scott, say, Scott, mate, I'm sorry, uh, my, my calf muscle has gone again for the second time? Or do I just man up and take it, you know? Um, um, and I decided, you know, I said, look, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to Scott. I'm going to say, Scott, I have an injury to my right leg, which means that the fitness test that you'll most likely be doing in a week's time, I will not be physically able to do it okay I can't do it my um, my right calf muscle has got a, a, um, a tear that, that previous tear that it had it's come back again I can't do it and if Scott would have said to me right then Luke you know what fair enough I don't want to see you get injured blah 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 don't do it but if he would have said to me listen Luke, find a, um, um, you know do what you can and as long as you think you can kind of find another way of doing cardio um, and that's what he said to me. He said the latter. He said, listen, Luke, find a way around it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm still here. Um, 
Funny enough, week seven's just gone by and I've gone back to the gym and I, I was a bit scared, but I was like, you know what, let's do it, man. Conserve your energy. Now you're gonna learn how to properly defend and it can't be at the top of your dome, top of your head, because you're taking way too many punches now. You're not in this thing to get brain damage, okay? Um, you've got family that love you and care for you. You know, take, just, just, if anything, it's to take out, God's honest truth. I said to myself, right now, I've been hitting the dome way too many times um, um, a week or two weeks. I think it was a week ago. I can't afford to be hitting the top of my temple anymore. Now just let them rock your chin. If, if he gets a punch on you now, give give your chin away. Give you, leave your chin out there and make sure they don't hit the top of your dome anymore. Okay? So that was my goal. My goal was to go back in there now, um, leave my chin exposed and see how hard my chin is. See how hard I can take a punch on my chin. Um, that was my goal. Funny enough though, I got put with... Uh, someone again like on week five that couldn't really fight and couldn't really defend themselves and i found myself in the same situation as the guy that bullied me this guy's running forward with his head down like a ball like that he's literally running leading with his head like that and i had a chance to do all kinds of crazy things to him i could have aggressively uppercutted him i could have grazed, aggressively gave him a hook um but then what it is just before the fight started I didn't have my helmet on. So I says to the guy, oh, whoa, 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 wait, before we actually get into the sparring, let me put my helmet on. I come back with my helmet on and there's some guy there, it's probably about 18 stone, okay? Natural 18 stone guy. And he's included into our sparring session, so it's become a triad now. Now I'm thinking, oh dear, oh my gosh, I thought, I thought I'd, I somehow escaped the threat of being beaten up or whatever. There's another guy there there now that's massive like that. Um, and yeah, I just I just kind of um, what I got to witness was this third person going for a beating. You know, when I was sparring with him though, because of the beating that I took um, the weeks prior to that, I said, right, Luke, you have to learn how to fight now, man. So when he was running forward with his head hanging out. Yeah, I did give him a couple of punches to his head. I never gave him any brutal, hard, ridiculously, you know, Deontay Wilder punches to his head. I didn't do that to him. But I did say to myself, listen, Luke, right? You can't be here playing a round of guys because if you get put with someone that's looking to kill you on the final week, then you're in a serious amount of trouble. So when the guy was coming in, I was practicing doing uppercuts. And I felt bad in a sense. I felt like I was bullying the guy. But another part of me said, no, nah, look, you better start taking this seriously, man. Because if you're if you're playing kiss kiss chase with this guy, and on the final day you're in there with some monster, then you know you're gonna you you, you want to start fighting like you're fighting for your life now, and that's kind of how it was. But to cut a long story short, the big guy, um, it was he was just walking me down and trying to give me one of his hardest shots, you know, um. And the white guy was taking a pounding, or should I say the other guy was taking a pounding against the both of these guys. And to be honest with you, if he would have said to me, listen, Luke, can I just step out of it? I would have said go, because I didn't want him to take punishment. So the point I'm making is that it's, it's brutal. It's brutal. It's not as simple as most people think it is. Um, the most important thing what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of YouTube videos promoting this, promoting... Um, promoting people fighting each other and most likely making money off of it i'm not i'm telling you i don't want you to go out there and do boxing i do not want you to go out to do boxing what i do want is you to learn how to defend yourself because there's many times in my life where people have kind of bullied me or disrespected me and i didn't do anything sometimes it's been someone half my size and i stood back and allowed them to intimidate me okay those days are long gone now. And that was the whole purpose of me stepping into the, this. I, I did want to do it for charity, but that was the main important thing, okay? Um, after this is finished, I know I can fight now. I know I'm tough as well, okay? Whether I get sparked out in the first 10 seconds on the final night, I know I'm tough. I've taken about 50 punches to my head and I do not wish to take no more. And I don't associate with fools as well that talk about hit me and I'll hit you. You hit me, I'll hit you. You hit me, oh, and all of that kind of stuff. Because that will just lead to brain damage. And I feel a lot of these YouTube channels are promoting that and making money off of it. I said it. 
I put it out there, okay? Last thing I want to say as well, all of these kind of cowboy um, fighters, cowboy talkers talk about knock him out in the first round. And, um, you know, you better knock him out. Listen, you better knock him out, yeah? I, I knock out guys and I do this and I do that. Stop it. Because that's the whole purpose of the first video, okay? You wouldn't, like, until you've been in there, stop talking, okay? Because... Um, I've even had to offer a few people out and say, look, come into my garden, spar with me. Since you're not guys out easily and everything else, and that's expected of me so easily on the final night, come into my garden and spar with me. See if you'll get round, get through two rounds. And I know they won't. Not because I'm tougher than them, because 80% of it is cardio. And if you haven't been doing the cardio, you will gas out within about two minutes. You won't even get past, because it's three rounds or two minutes, you won't get past the round, I guarantee you. So women and men mouthing off, thinking, oh boy, you know, you're weak if, if you don't beat the person up at the end of it. Um, or I expect a KO, not even a win, but a KO. Humble yourselves. Because it's, I'm fed up of people talking when they don't have the balls to do these things themselves. And it wouldn't last they, they, I guarantee you these people wouldn't even last a training session, which is probably more brutal than that final day itself, if you want me to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I don't know who my sparring partner is going to be next week. I do know that it's starting to get a little bit more intense now to the point where we're going to be soon full on swinging at each other. See what I'm trying to say? It's going to get to that stage. And yeah, you, you damn well are going to learn how to defend yourself. It's some rogue cowboy... Um, kid that was bullied in school now wants to kind of take his aggression out on you so i'm trying to say and he has got a bit of balls whereas some guys run off as soon as they get hit in the face this guy has got balls and he's looking to try to hurt you and like you will learn how to fight very quickly so i'm trying to say um i was going to show you a video of a guy being gassed out after the first minute or so but there's no need for it i've, I've gone on now for a long time you kind of get the message humble yourselves male or female Anyone that steps apart in any that, that ring and survives the 10 weeks or 8 weeks, if it's ultra white collar boxing, perfection gives you a thumbs up, gives Spudger and says, listen, you're, you're a champion whether you won or lost, okay? Someone, it's a fight between two people. Someone has to lose, you understand? That's just the nature of the game. You're a champion for making that far. And hopefully, if now if someone attacks you on the street, you can defend yourself. Uh, but me personally, I am not promoting boxing. I don't want people to jump in the ring and, and see how hard they are by taking punches to their head and all of that. That's that's the most dumbest thing, okay? If you are going to get into it, make sure you've got a boxing coach that slowly takes you through it, looks after you and all that kind of thing. I wouldn't want any of my family doing it, period. Thank you for watching, guys. Humble yourselves. Mad love for all of you. Um, still donate, guys, if you can, man. Um, uh, please, please donate if you can, if you're watching this video. Please donate, I beg you. Even like three, three or four pounds or whatever. Um, because, you know, I, I, if it's one of my friends, you know that there's many times in your life that you've come round and you've been troubled by something, um, maybe even suicidal, and your boy perfection's been there for you. So for you not to do, en donate any kind of money, in my eyes, is a bit wrong, you know. My family, I'm not even too tired. I'm not even too phased about them. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I won't get into it. But for people out there that know that they've knocked on my door and they've been down at certain times, you know, a bit suicidal, and I've been there for them and I've talked them through it. I've walked them through it. I've got them a drink. I've sat them down. We played some music. We did chilled out and I've helped them to kind of come back down. And now all of a sudden they're not donating any kind of money to this. Is a bit. I find this a bit kind of. I find it's wrong. I, I, that's all I'll say. It's wrong, you know. To random strangers, I'm not bothered about them. But to people in my life that have been down, and you know that your boy perfection's been there, and now all of a sudden you don't even want to donate a pound, boy, the next time the next time you're down there and you're out, you can't come knocking on my door and expect me to support you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because all you could have done is just donated a pound. Thank you for watching. Peace. Love you, yeah?